Happy Wednesday and March. March Two days what? after spring. Yeah, I know. March 22nd. Is it the 22nd? Yeah. Yep. Looking so at. what? Now our days are almost equal. Our nights and daylight. Mm -hmm. kind of yeah. Close to oh, man, I'm loving it. Yeah. I yes. like leaving here when it's light out. I like going to work when it's light out. I like setting home and having some hours when it's light out. It changes that whole. I love the light. The depression the light. Out, starts getting you out of that depressive mode. Yeah. Pep in your step. Yeah. Even if it snowed tomorrow, I'd still, in my brain, it's like, that's yeah. spring snow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So here we are. Yay. So did anybody stand its egg on its end? On no. I tried okay. yesterday. A couple days late. Didn't work. But I forgot well, how long does it, how long is the you know I don't know I don't know exactly how long the gap is I will tell you we tried it in the morning at like seven in the morning and it didn't work um but the spring equinox time was not till two twenty four that oh, day oh okay so when we when I tried it I tried it right before I went to pick up the boys um and it worked and then I tried it again after I picked up the boys oh. so but that was like right in that time frame yeah it has to do with the whole earthy and balanced or something. Yeah. yeah gravitational yeah. pull because yeah. the sun's right at the equator yeah. of course i didn't wait a whole long time yesterday because so i've been doing the fasting again the 23 hours fasting an hour of eating mm -hmm. and so as soon as i got home it was time to eat and i was like <laughs> i'll go so what would you like and i says i'm making a fried egg and ham and cheese on toast sandwich and so i grabbed the egg and went oh yeah you're supposed to see it. and i set it up and went, yeah that's not yeah <laughs> cracked it it was like i don't care i'm hungry yeah, you only had an hour. So I only had an hour and I was eating it all. Weren't going to worry about propping the egg up. No. So it might have worked. Might have drug on, but I completely forgot on. Yeah, I don't know when that 20th. window is, but next year we'll have to try the room in the ballroom. Yeah, we will. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'll post my video showing you guys that we got it standing. Oh, up. you got it. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Can't wait to see. As you can see, the egg is standing on its end. There's nothing holding it up. It is just standing up on its own. Happy spring equinox. And on that note, also, what is, this whole month is Red Cross Awareness Month, am mm -hmm. I correct? Yeah. And today in particular is- American Red Cross Giving Day. Yes. Oh, nice. And today, yeah. So I had an interview with uh, Michelle Roth, from uh, the American Red Cross, she's the executive director. Um, so she will let you know a little bit how you can give back and what you can do to help out the Red Cross. And are we gonna roll that footage now? We can. All right, can't wait to see it. Yep. Okay, so my name is Michelle Roth and I am the executive director for our Central and Southeastern Washington Red Cross chapter. Well, thank you for joining me today. Um, today is American uh, Red Cross Giving Day, so I wanted to ask, mm -hmm. what is this holiday all about? Mm -hmm. So it, it actually stems from um, the month of March is Red Cross Month. Yeah. So we um, all, all month long, we're celebrating uh, the Red Cross, trying to build awareness, uh, talk about how you can get involved, the things that you can learn, and of course, the way that you can give back. Um, so every year we celebrate Red Cross Month all, all month long, but um, what the Red Cross Giving Day is really about is more of a focus on our disaster relief mm -hmm. and leveraging um, the other like generous donors that we have to even raise even more. Um, we have a match going on this month. Uh, at up to two hundred thousand dollars. So basically, you know, every donation that's coming in, we're able to double double the donation. But really focusing on disaster relief. Uh, most people, um, when they think about disasters, they think about that happening in other communities. Right. And um, you know, home fires are a disaster, and it's actually our most common disaster. Mm -hmm. But when you just think or imagine that, you know, you're just kind of going along, life is normal, and then all of a sudden something something changes as an instant, whether that's a home fire, it's a wildfire, it's a tornado. Um, and so we just want to be sure that we're ready for responding to those, those disasters and being there for our communities. That's awesome. So um, what can the community do to help out, be part of this um, 
give back. Yeah, so there's there's uh, a lot of ways to get involved and give back to the Red Cross. Um, obviously, today we're talking about donating for those disaster relief efforts for the Giving Day, um, and I do want to mention that a gift of any size helps, and you know that helps goes towards shelter, it goes towards food, relief items, emotional support. Um, but the other thing, and what especially our Yakima community knows us for, is our blood drives. Mm -hmm. And giving blood um, will help ensure that we have, or I should say the hospitals have the blood that they need to provide that care when it's needed. It's really, it's the blood on the shelves that are, are there every day. And so we need to keep that blood supply up. So by donating blood or platelets, uh, we can make sure that we keep that supply up. Uh, another way is volunteering. Um, we have uh, numerous ways that people can in get involved. Everything from being a disaster volunteer and deploying to um, helping out at a blood drive to um, helping with our home fire campaign, uh, helping out um, with some things just even in the office logistically or organizationally. So there's a lot of opportunities to volunteer. And then the last one is we encourage people to take, take a class, take a CPR class or that AED class because, um, you know, more and more we're seeing that those, those moments matter um, at a time when something, you know, quick action is needed. Right. When people have taken a class, they, they're feeling they're more comfortable and ready to jump in and, and actually act and do something. And we know that these um, classes, you know, they're life-saving skills. So we, we know that that makes a difference. That's awesome. So information for volunteering, things that you can give back, ways to do, um, to give back to your community, be part of the American Red Cross. Is that all on your website? Yep, yep. You can go to redcross.org and you can, you know, look at the look at classes. You can go to volunteer. You can go find out like what, what, where the where the money goes. So when we do provide, you know, how does how does that break down? And also some examples of that. So everything can be found on our redcross.org website. Awesome. Well, Michelle, um, I really appreciate you being um, here to, to tell us all about American Red Cross Giving Day. Mm -hmm. And um, anything else you'd like to let us know about the Red Cross? I don't think so. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> no, I just, I just, I, I know that you, um, JN, had mentioned you're a um, blood drive partner. So we just really, really appreciate that. It makes all the difference. Um, you know, you probably know you can't manufacture blood no. <laughs> and um, it's, it, you can only, it has a shelf life of 45 days. So we really, really appreciate your partnership and um, the Yaka community has always been a great supporter, um, especially in our blood drives. And, and we've got, um, we're doing a day of action in April there. So we're excited to get out there and, and make sure that we've got, you know, community members safe and get in those free smoke alarms. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Well, that was pretty neat. Yeah. That's in informative. Yes. So go on their website, uh, redcross.org. All their information is out there from volunteering, how you can give back, um, events that they have coming up, and um, what today's all about. Excellent. Red Cross is a wonderful, I mean, we think, I, I think Red Cross and you think blood drives, but I mean, what it does for military, what it does oh, in disasters, what mm -hmm. it does. I mean, they're the, they're the foundation. They're the, yeah. you, you know, give blood, donate, volunteer for something. Yeah. There's so many things because they're there when you need them. Yep. Yeah. When always, nobody else is there. They're, they're there. always there. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that was cool. Good interview. Yeah. So on Ooh. that note, I'm just going to talk, I'm not talking much today, um, but I'm just going to say the newsletter is out. I'm so excited. And Look at so, this beautiful newsletter Gabby put together. Well, I can't say it's out. It's in yeah. the process <laughs> right now. We're it's getting printed. it. Yep, it's printed. We are putting it together to get to the mail. So keep your eyes out. If you have not um, subscribed, please do. This one's got a lot of information going into April, May, and June. Mm -hmm. um, You're going to love the new format too. I mean, it's, yeah, so, I just, I, it held my interest every page. Yeah. So I'm, I, you know, give me feedback if there's something 
that you don't like, but I'm, I'm overall happy with yeah. how it turned out and, um, and it'll be out soon. So keep your eye out there for the mail. Otherwise, what is it? Is it $15 a year? Mm -hmm. yeah. $15 a year for all the publications, which the next one will come out in July. Mm -hmm. July 1st. Um, or you can just come on down and grab one for $4. Yeah. And it has all this stuff. So there'll be some inserts in there as well. Yes. With read, additional stuff. read what we've put. And if you haven't renewed your subscription and you forgot about it, call 575-6166. We'll look you up and tell you if you are have a subscription or you need to renew. Yep. Do it now because we're going to go put them in the mail next yeah. week. <laughs> yeah. next Beginning week. So it's not too late. Yeah. Same thing too. Some people don't realize that if you uh, purchase a trip and you're making a payment, I can get your new newsletter on the same billing, on the same invoice. So if you're calling me for a trip and you think, oh, I need to call somebody else. No, either all of us yeah. can do it and I can do it right with your trip payment. So get it in there. So uh, speaking of trips, I got segue right into that. Um, so uh, Mariners, I got Mariners games. Woohoo. And I know Lois is excited about that and quite a few others. And so I just wanted to briefly, because they didn't get into the newsletter, so I will have flyers out, but I want to give all of our viewers a uh, heads up and you can start, you know, signing up for these today. They're going to be $139. That covers your ticket your bus ride there and back, parking for the bus so the bus can park right where you guys get out and walk right in, and um, and a day of fun with the, um, you know, Seattle Mariners. So the games that we have uh, set up for now are July 2nd, and that's against Tampa Bay, and that's a Sunday. It's a Sunday game, so anybody can go. I only have 25 tickets, so don't hesitate. Then in uh, August, we have uh, the 12th against Baltimore, and that's a Saturday game. And it's the Felix Hernandez Mariners Hall of Fame induction. So those tickets will go fast. Mm -hmm. And so don't hesitate on that. Same, same thing, same price, $139. And then in September, to kind of close out the season, on September 13th, we play the Angels. You didn't do the Red Sox? I was waiting on a red Sox I know, one. I know, I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to Boston this year, so, you know, maybe. Anyway, we're playing the Angels, and this is Senior Day at the Mobile Park. So what that includes is not only will you get your ticket for the game, it's a Wednesday, so it's a day game. You got plenty of time to take the day off if you're working, you have, uh, we'll get exclusive tickets. Uh, Terrace Club Patio is reserved for senior day at 11.40 a.m. Food service will run until 60 minutes be after the first pitch and lunch is provided. So you'll get gourmet hot dogs, chips, popcorn, pasta salad, dessert, coffee, tea. Uh, your beer is on your own. And then, of course, for every game we should have up there, uh, Harmon Center's HC, HC Trips and Tours, welcome. So that's a great one. That yeah. is a great one. Wait, so, wait and I've got August 30 tickets. Yeah, I got 30 tickets for that one. So please, please, please. Yeah. September 13th. September. It's they, a Wednesday. They yeah. Get it way before that because they'll go. Yeah, and it's a day game. So we'll be leaving early in the morning to get there early. Um, they have a new ticketing thing now. It's all. Um, digital on, this digital yeah yep. so linda um miller will be your host on two of the games i may be doing the september one if i'm in town but um the tickets are now on hers or my phone mm -hmm. so we're going to put your seat your ticket number on the back of your name tag oh, so you will know idea. where you're sitting at all times but you will not have a handheld ticket and there is no way around that. I begged, I borrowed, yeah. I almost got to steal. Everything's digital though. Yeah, everything's everything. going that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she'll be standing there. So it's, you know, you'll find out it's really important for everybody to get together and and, uh, and I understand the why time. they're doing that, but at the same time, those tickets are souvenirs for oh, a lot of events. Are. Yeah, people they use different souvenirs. And, yeah. yeah, so, so we figured out a way to do it, but. You know, I guess we got to move with the times. Yeah. But that's a great idea, putting it on the back of their um, yeah. badges. Cause, well, because heck, sometimes... You know how many times from the time I show my ticket to the time I get to that? I have to like, look. Where was it again? Yeah. Where was it again? Oh, exactly. So that's a great idea. Yeah. And we've got our, um, for the April and August game, 
no, April game, or April, I'm, I'm so into April. Uh, the July game, we will have our uh, box area, the 214, um, but it'll be different for the August and September. August game is just almost sold out because it's Hernandez induction. Mm -hmm. So anyway, five, seven, six, six, four, seven, five, or call that number and they will transfer you to me. All right. So on that, what do you have, Leslie? Did you get all the events? So we got a few things. Um, we're still doing the women's shelter toiletry drive. That's till the end of this month on the 31st. So please bring any toiletries in for that. It's been great. Oh, uh, so been overwhelming. Um, tonight, if you don't have your tickets, get them at the door. It's fine. Spaghetti feed for Yakima Valley Senior Citizens, Inc. Uh, you get spaghetti and a salad and dessert. And then I think it's tea, garlic bread. Garlic yeah. bread. Um, eight bucks, super cheap. They've been working really hard and they've got, it looks like it's going to be. A oh great yeah. Turnout. And that's a good, that's a yeah. really good one. I hate yeah. the fact that I'm missing that one. Cause I usually don't miss them, but. Uh, Debbie started the sauce on Monday, getting that all prepared. So come on out. Yeah. If you don't have your ticket, get them at the door tonight. Eight bucks. It starts at five 30. Yes. Um, and then another Senior Inc. event is they have the Easter Bunny Breakfast. We've got the sign up out front. So if you have grandkids yep. that you want to bring to see the Easter Bunny, come have breakfast from 9 to 1030, April 1st. Uh, so not April this weekend, 1. but next weekend. Um, it's six bucks for adults, three bucks for children under five. And the Easter egg hunt starts at 1030. I can't believe that it's here. I, I know, know, Easter's fast this year. Yeah. Um, and then we also have our preventing senior scams coming up next Wednesday. Very good. Yes, Northwest Justice Project will be here um, discussing uh, preventing senior scams. So please find out all the information of the current scams that are going on so you can be prepared if anything comes to try to take your money or mess with you. Yeah, I and just, that's all the scams. That's not mm -hmm. just electronic. That's right. all the that's stuff every, that's going on. There's a new one that just came out in the news today. Hmm. People are showing up at your door saying that they're delivering Amazon, De DoorDash, you know, and they're not. They're wanting you to open the door, and so they're saying. What's really interesting, now that you say that, the other night, and I honestly don't know if it was a scam or not, but um, we have that doorbell. Mm -hmm. you know, we and do too. we don't really answer our doors. The first thing I do is check that, check that camera. Yeah. Well, it was 845. It was dark out That's already. That's when they're doing it. 8 45 and I look and I'm like who's ringing the doorbell I look at my camera and there's a lady there in front of the camera she has taken a flyer like this and it looks like all the um cookies from the Girl Scouts right? oh okay all bunch and so you could tell that she's putting it there to like hey this is what I'm doing not one child there yeah at that time of the night and it just it really kind of you know when you get a gut feeling oh yeah and i just like i don't get a good feeling about this listen to but, your gut because so it was on, on the, the nose this morning that's funny that morning. you should say yeah. that so this was cookies so it seemed innocent she had a nice little thing she had all these wonderful cookies but my mind kept saying, why is she at my door there at this go. time at night? Mm -hmm. And why is she making it a point of putting this in front of my camera? And why are there no children? If it's going to be a fundraiser, yes. usually it's, it's you know. So. And that's another thing they're doing, too, is they're doing that exact thing in front of the door. And, and one of them on the camera showed the lady was there, like, with a door dash, ringing the doorbell. The family had the same thing. They had a weird feeling about it didn't they didn't order anything number one four guys were coming to the backyard as they were going to open the door to come around the house so if it's dark and somebody's ringing your doorbell don't answer yeah. it mm -hmm. say what do you want if they're delivering something set it down yeah. but do not so it's already here in Yakima because yeah. I have not seen anybody selling cookies number yeah. one yeah. and if there's not kids and it's not daylight forget about it yeah. mm -mm. so this will this Scary. is good because it's just their scams come in so oh, many ways yeah so many ways and it so. it fears me for everybody mm -hmm. doesn't matter what your age because they hit you up in text or email or even mm -hmm. phone no. or in person yeah. and now the in person yeah yeah I don't like it so march 29th 10 a.m don't miss it get the get the latest and greatest because those scams are going faster than what they can even present. Oh, I yep. know. As they're presenting, their new ones already already there. Mm -hmm. So and follow your gut, just mm -hmm. like you did. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. Yeah. 
Um, book club is next Monday too. Yay. We're reading Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt. Actually, I'm I haven't finished this, but I started it. It's pretty good. So I love the color. I know I it do. just makes you want to read it. Is it yeah. about animals? It's about octopus. Oh, yeah, I love that. octopus. Okay, yeah. I gotta what read it. <laughs> yeah. Whether I'm gonna do the book club or not. So I gotta that is it. what twenty seventh. Is that when they Monday? Ten thirty. Monday. I got the weekend to read it. And then um, when you get your newsletter, there will be a flyer inside that's a survey. It's going to be asking about stuff for the Harmon Center. It'll be asking about stuff and ideas for the Yakima Valley Senior Citizen Inc. So um, fill this out and bring it back in once you get your newsletter, just so we can keep up with what you guys want to do, um, topics that you want to hear about on chat face, uh, fundraisers and things that Seniors Inc. can do, or ways we can all improve. Yeah, because we read them all. Mm -hmm. So if you have even this, if you think... Oh, I don't know if I should put, put it down. Yeah, put your down. input's important it is. because it really helps us. It really helps us. Really. Because you know, we want to do what's for you. And sometimes what we're thinking, you know, might not be in line. Right. right? So, yeah, it's wonderful. Just take a minute and, you know, and if you can't bring it down, you can always fax it to us or however. It's or a, email it. Email, email it. Email it. Off. My email is like in my newsletter. Yeah. But it's really, it is, it's really, really helpful for us. So I hope you take a few minutes and, and fill that out. I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And one of the questions is about a paint night. I saw that. Yeah. So yeah. Gabby found a really cool paint I'm night. I'm kind of excited about that. So your I feedback would be wonderful. Paint night. Yeah. Oh, they're so fun. Yeah. I think, um, I think it'd be a good thing. So I'd like to see what, what you guys think about that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, oh, one last thing for me is uh, Friday is Ryan will be here from Meridian for a presentation. The one that got canceled when I got sick and um, he'll be here to talk about Nova Scotia, Boston and Cape Cod and Costa Rica. And Costa Rica is almost full, but Nova Scotia, we have room on those two trips. So if you even just want to hear about them, come on down, have some cookies, have some coffee, um, meet Ryan, see Ryan, say hi to Ryan, and um, be here at one o'clock at the Harmon Center. That's all from my corner. Yep. Me too. We're just going to go enjoy the sun now. We I know. Steps in our sunshine. steps. So. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a happy Wednesday. Yes. And we will look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. But uh, don't forget tonight, the fundraiser. Come check it out. Yes. Spaghetti, Spaghetti. Five thirty, eight Eight bucks. Best yep. eight bucks you could spend. Yep. You guys have a good day. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching Chat Face with the Harmon Center Girls. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Like or share as well. Have a great day.